Hey guys, Super Girly Pony here. What is up? And today we are going to be making a loom band tutorial. It is a simple little braid one. Super duper easy. Okay. So I'm showing you one of my um bands that I made. I used a dark blue and pink. And then my other one, I'm make I gave the I'm going to give this one to my mom because it's a Christmas band. Um band. It's got blue, I mean, not blue, <laughs> um, red and green on it, and then over here, I'm going to give to th this to my friend, AK, um, yeah, it's pink and a light blue, I think it looks really pretty, it kind of reminds me of cotton candy, <laughs> alright, so what you will be needing for this, you're going to be needing two type, well, two colors of bands, I'm just using pink here, and yellow, but you can pick any other color you like. And then, of course, you're going to be oh, whoops, I just knocked over my bag. I'm going to be needing one of these hook thingies to get your um, band in place. And then you'll be needing one of these. If you do not have this, then your um, thing, well, your band will be incomplete. You can also make necklaces with these and rings just depends on how long you want to make them. Alright, so let's get started. All you will be needing is also one of these. I'm going to be just using these two little ones right here. The end. Alright, and what you are going to be doing, you're going to take your um, bands here. Hold on a second. Be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Just had to situate my camera so you can see better. Oh, you're, you're just going to take um, your piece here and put it aside so you don't lose it. Those things are very small. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your first colors here. I'm using my yellow. Alright, and then you're going to grab one out. And you get one. Alright, and then you're going to kind of like twist tie it. Like you're going to take it like this. One of them fell down. And it's like a figure eight. And then you're going to place it on one side. And the other. See? Simple. And then you're going to grab your other color here. I'm going to grab my pink. Real quick. Let me grab that. Open up the bag. Okay. So I have my pink now. Let's move that out of the way. And then now you're going to push down the yellow a little bit. And then you're going to take your pink and just place it over just like that. See? Simple. And you're going to take your yellow again. Uh, let me get it out. Then you're going to push down the pink again. Uh, okay. Then you're going to put your yellow over it as well. Okay. Here's kind of a little tricky part, but hopefully you'll be able to follow around. You're going to take your bottom one right here. Um, whoops, I don't want the pink one. I want the bottom yellow one. And then you're going to pull it over like that. And you're going to do the same with the other side. It should turn out to look kind of like a bow. And if it's kind of off center, you're just going to move it into a little bit. And then you're going to pull it down again. And then you're going to get the pink one out. Okay, let me get it out. Alright, so you have your pink one out. And then you're going to put it over here again. And then at the bottom here, you're going to take the other pink one and wrap it around, as well as the other one. It's being a little dumb here. See? Oops. <laughs> it's okay if it's a little loose, because um, sometimes it'll be loose, but if it's loose, you can always just pull it over and grab the, the bottom one and pull it. See? See how it's kind of making a braid a little bit? That's good. Alright, and then you're going to grab your yellow one again. Or whatever color you have for something. Okay. And then you're going to put that on as well. So pretty much you're going to do this over and over again until you have a braid. So simple and easy. I'll be right back with the finishing touches on it. Yep. Okay, so now that you have that done, you're going to take this off. Whoa, magic! 
And now what you're going to do is that you're just going to hook it on this end and this end. Alright, so once you have that hooked on, you're going to take it and snap it onto the other side. And when your bracelet is done, it should turn out just like this. Let me go ahead and put it on. See, it looks really cute and adorable. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you'll find some other cool stuff on the internet to do for tutorials and stuff. And I will see you all later. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you all later. Bye-bye.